Universal Control dropped about a week ago. You can click and drag your files from your iPad to your Mac, but in reality, can you connect two different iPads to your same Mac? Watch this video and find out. After being promised for more than six months, Universal Control has finally dropped, and it's by far pretty interesting connecting all my devices together with Universal Control right now. And I have two iPads, one Mac, and will it work or will it not? If you like my content, please buy me a coffee. Link in the description. Thank you, and have a good day. Right now, I will show you how you can actually connect Universal Control and get it going on your Mac. You have to go to System Preferences, Software Update, and you will be updated to the newest update, which is 12.3. And with iPad, you go to General Your Settings, General Software Update, wait for it to load up, and then just click Install. You have to make sure you have at least 50% battery life or plugged in. And then with either devices, I have multiple iPads, so it's the same setup. With that, you just go to Settings, General Software Update, and just download and install and wait about 20 minutes or so and it will be good to go from there on out. I have two different iPads. I have the 12.9 M1, the Mini 6, and I also have a M1 Mac Mini, which it's been a pretty good device in my opinion. While you download these, it takes about half an hour. I've got a 100 megabyte connection and even with that, it takes some time. It's just connecting to Apple servers and about 45 minutes later, I am pretty much good to go. I have the latest update, which is 15.4 for both my iPads, 12.3 for my latest Mac, which I'm actually pretty pretty happy about being updated and then when you go into display under settings you have to go to universal control click on the tabs on the left click on all three and then once they're connected you can basically have universal control from here on out your mac will pick up your ipads make sure they are turned on and they are open and then just like that your ipads will be available for your display screens and you can mix and match and adjust and then pull them around any which way how you feel like and that's also my m1 mac mini underneath and then just showcasing pulling some JPEG files from my Mac Mini I've created. All you can do is just click and drag and drop it right there in your photos for your for my 12.9 inch iPad Pro M1. And then just like in a couple examples, it's pretty much seamless. You just basically control your mouse, you click and drag it all the way across the screen and then it moves to the next one. And then while you have two iPads connected, you can use them simultaneously with universal control. So if I drag one file from one iPad or from my Mac itself, it will go to both uh, iPads themselves. Just like that, this is an old design I've done from a couple years ago and it just works pretty seamlessly. This is a photo I took from over the weekend and just click and drag. I'm using my mouse right now and it's pretty much that seamless. It works a little bit more ideal and a little bit more better than AirDrop in my opinion because it just honestly it just feels pretty seamless in my opinion. And you can do that with photo, video, other files also but with other files it depends on what program actually works with it and it can sometimes have a couple hiccups with that. And this is just a video I've done. So if you're ever interested and if you ever want to donate to my channel, the link this link below is in the description to buy myself coffee. It's a short five second video. All you have to do is just click and drag it and then boom, it's in my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And then on top of that, I can also move that to my Mini 6 just like that. And it is good to go. All you have to do is just click and drag different files, photos, videos, whatever. And it pretty much works seamlessly. It also works the other way. So if I ever have any files on my iPads, I can just click and drag them to my Mac and it just works just like that. These are just some of my whatever sketches I've done in the past on my iPad mini when I, whenever I travel. All you have to do is just and drag and then forward and it's right there on my Mac screen right there. And with that, while your keyboard is connected to your Mac, you can actually, it's the same way. So whatever your mouse is hovering over, that is where the keyboard will actually work. So I have my 12.9 inch with a mouse is hovering over it. So the keyboard will be dominant to that screen for the moment until I switch to the next one. And it works the other way too. So I have the magic keyboard board for my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So all you have to do is just hook it in and then the actual trackpad and then the keyboard will work for all my devices. So if I ever click and drag it over to another device, it works in reverse in my opinion. So if I ever click it to the screens over with my M1 Mac, just like that, works just fine. You can click and drag different files and photos, videos. It just works pretty seamlessly. As long as you're connected over Wi-Fi, even if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to your own 
personal Wi-Fi to your devices. And you also need Bluetooth connected and enabled on top of that. So as long as you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled and all your devices are connected together, it will work without Wi-Fi. And with that, the latency will be pretty low and the lag will be non-existent in my opinion, unless you have 20 devices. But you can only connect one Mac to however many iPads you want. Just to keep that in mind, and you have to have them all logged into the same profile. So going forward, Apple has delayed this for about six months or so. Frankly, I think it was for the best to make sure it's actually a good function of that because the latest update for all my devices are pretty minimum except for universal control. So with my actual workflow, I can just click and drag, move, and have one keyboard and mouse for all my devices. And just like that, all you have to do is just click and drag it from my M1 to my Mini 6 and it just works that easy. And I am honestly really impressed with how this went. So I will probably reinvent my own personal workflow to include universal control more into it. Sidecar is a little bit more limited, but with this, you have your own separate operating systems on that. I'm a really fan of this. So if you could smash that bell, subscribe, stay tuned for your latest weird tech reviews and upcoming news. Thank you.